Hi beauties, welcome to another video. If this is your first time here, I'm Felicia, so make sure that you subscribe so you don't miss out on any videos about natural hair and product reviews. So today I'm going to be doing a review and also a demo on the collection of the Palmer's Natural Fusions line. I received this in my curl box for the month of November, but I did not do a November unboxing. So we're just gonna get right into this line okay so i'm gonna do this in the order that i use the products and the first thing we have is the micella rose water cleanser this is a clarifying shampoo that claims to gently purify and nourish your hair now this shampoo i did like it as you can see it lathered a lot like way more than i expect especially from a clarifying shampoo but it did get my hair clean. It did feel clean. It didn't feel like overly squeaky. And I will probably follow up with a moisturizing shampoo, which I did not this time because I just really wanted to truly see how this product felt after I rinsed it out. But typically that's what I would do with any clarifying shampoo is to follow up with the moisturizing shampoo. So it is not a no shade to the, it was actually pretty good. So next up is the Lavender Rose Water Conditioner. This is Hydrate and Repair, replaces lost moisture and softens hair. This was just okay. Um, yeah, I wasn't overwhelmed by this. Um, and typically I skip conditioners and go straight for the hair mask anyway. But I did want to give this a try. I'm not going to say I left my hair super soft. It was just okay. It was just decent. So next we have the Chia Seed and Argan Oil Hair Mask. This is supposed to deeply repair and boost hydration. Now I really did like, and it smells good too. I really did like this mask. Now I will say that when I put the mask on, I was able to finger detangle, so it did have a lot of slip. I followed this up with my Hot Head Thermal Cap. As you can see, I deep condition um, with the hot head for about maybe 30 minutes, but even after that, initially, I actually ended up leaving this on about four or five hours, because I was just doing other stuff. Um, so once I rinsed this out, my hair felt okay. It, it didn't feel strawy, but it didn't feel as soft as some of my other deep conditioners leave my hair. So this, it, it was decent. I just feel like if it claims to boost hydration, I just feel like maybe it could have been a little bit more hydrating. But overall, it was a decent mask. Okay, so after that, I went in with the Mellow Root Leave-In Conditioner. This is supposed to smooth, comb through, and detangle. I hated this. Like, I don't know if there's a product that I can really say that, but this was awful it's very um very liquidy yeah it, it, it was awful so i sprayed this on my hair and it actually made my hair tangle and that's something i usually don't have a problem with especially if it's a good leave-in and it's supposed to help detangle and give slip this was none of the above as you can see, I am struggling to do a flat twist, which is a no-brainer because I do my flat twist on my wet hair right out the, the shower all the time. Um, so me being able to glide through my hair doing a flat twist is never an issue. This stuff just sucks. And as you go through the ingredients, it has isopropyl alcohol. Alcohol is drying. Now granted, this does say it has But when we start having alcohol and some other stuff, well, it didn't work out for my hair. Okay. So, no. Like, I'm not even going to attempt to even give this to anyone. Because, no. So, after applying the leave-in condition to my hair, I wanted to just follow up with the oil. Um, Cerame Manua hair food oil supposed to nourish and fuel your hair and scalp um this was a really light kind of thin oil 
I really don't have much to say about it. It's an oil with different types of oils, a combination of oils in it. So when I put the oil on top of the leave-in, initially that's all I was gonna do just to see how the products, how this line worked by itself without adding a style or anything extra. But since I struggled so bad, I had to go in and go and get a, a styler that I knew that was gonna be moisturizing and also give me some type of slip so I was able to complete my protective style. Um, this is not a feature or anything because I've already talked about this line, how I feel about it, I already did a review. You can check that in the cards and I'll also leave it in the description. But I had to stop and go and grab my Cream of Nature Coconut Milk Hydrating Curling Cream um, to basically save the day. So I applied this to my hair. It did give my hair much better slip. There was still some tangling, but I know it had nothing to do with this cream and everything to do with the leave-in. Um, but this definitely came in, saved the day, and gave me enough slip so that I was able to complete my um, protective style. And that's it. <laughs> so that's my review. Um, like I said, there were some things that were good and decent. There were some things absolutely a miss for me. Hopefully it may work for someone else. If you all have tried this line, let me know down in the comment section, what did you think about it? What worked for you? What didn't work? I saw some other reviews on Instagram. A few people, I'm not gonna say what they mentioned, but some things were consistent. There were some people that said it worked great for them. Um, this just, I'm just not one of those people that it worked out. So I will see you guys in the next video. And if you haven't already subscribed, make sure that you subscribe and also hit that bell notification. And don't go anywhere. There are more videos that you can check out. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.